Hey guys, so I'm back with not so much as a tutorial rather than me just kind of showing you this project I've been working on lately. Um, so these nails were inspired by a Indian bridal sari. Um, they're so beautiful. This one that I had a picture of was red and it was full of embellishments and beading and silver and gold and it's just so intricate. So that is what inspired these nails. Um, I did this project for a magazine. Um, when it comes out, I'll show you guys, I'm sure. Um, on my Instagram, so make sure you follow me on Instagram. To start these nails, I just painted them red with Presto Gel, and um, as soon as it was cured completely, I made sure to buff the whole thing so that I had a nice smooth surface to work on, and I wanted it matted out so that the um, chrome wouldn't stick to the matted part. Then I started using this painting gel from E. Nail Couture. I used their painting, his painting gels in a previous video with all the fun colors, but this time I just used his white one. Um, and it's super thick, it's a nice thick viscosity, so you can really kind of make slightly 3D effects, which works really well with the chrome beading look that I was going for with this. So I kind of just really thickly placed on uh, my design here. And I'm basically doing every other dot, so these are all gonna be gold, and then in between them I'm gonna do silver ones. So once I finished painting these, I used a no white top coat and just covered the white design that I did. So I was very meticulous to make sure that I only got the white design and I didn't get any on the red and I made sure to cover all of the white so that I can cover it in chrome. Then I just used this chameleon pigment. It's kind of an olive gold tone, um, so it is a little bit greener, but it's the most mirror effect that I'm gonna get in a gold that I could find, so I'm gonna use this here. So I'm just gonna squeegee this on with a silicone tool. It doesn't matter if it gets everywhere um, because it's not gonna stick to the mat after you wipe it with alcohol later. But don't wipe it yet, you have to seal first. <laughs> then I didn't seal these yet, I just went back in with the painting gel in white and I made sure to fill in the rest of the design where I want the silver chrome to be. The reason why I didn't seal the gold is because if I sealed it and then put the silver chrome on, it would get all over the gold too. So then I did the same thing, I put the no wipe top coat specifically only on the white design that I just painted, made sure to cover it perfectly. And then once that's cured, I scrubbed on my silver chrome. And if you get some on the gold, it's totally fine, it won't stick to it because it already has that gold chrome on. Then I went back in and sealed all the gold and silver designs. And once this is cured, you can go in with a little bit of rubbing alcohol and wipe the nail and just make sure that there's no excess chrome anywhere. Then I just took some more gel top coat and I placed a nice thick layer in between the center line and then around that gold bead that we had created. And then in the center of the little flowers on the side. And before I cured this, I placed in all of my little silver mini bouillons and they're just like little tiny silver beads. And I straightened them out, put them exactly where I wanted them to be, and then I cured it. Thank you guys so much for watching. If there are any products or Anything that you want to see, let me know in the comments below. Um, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you next week.